Good day guys, Bing here. Uh, last time uh, we did this one. So oh, so it's a pattern based family but, uh, with some uh, void. Um, so we, uh, actually this one's not the same one we did before but uh, uh, yeah. So it's, uh, it's a solid, it's a solid surface and then with a couple of a void to cut this, to create this shape. So today we are going to try a different approach. Okay, so the shape, will, oh sorry, uh, will be very similar. But we try to we try not to use any void. Okay, so the good uh, um, the good thing about not not having any void is uh, uh, so it will be faster. Then so for example, I'll just try this one to show, show you. Uh, this one, one, I'll change the size slightly so you can see it took it took like three seconds to change this, right? So if I change this one, if I do this one to eighteen hundred, see, it only take one second. So if you have a very you know large uh, area of this one, so it will it will be my uh, yeah faster when you try to you know create all this shape, shape right so let's do it so uh, actually I'm going to use this one okay so um, it's don't worry about uh, so it's slightly different so you can see all the void is different to the one we did yesterday but uh, that's fine uh, because we're not going to use them any of them so and also even this solid part and we're going to just delete them so because we're going to uh, do it differently okay so and also maybe I'll just even delete all these so basically only leave you know like uh, so one two three and then some of these points so with you know an angle with offset an angle with offset right so and also I'm not sure about this one we probably don't need this as well and what's that point just delete delete okay so now we have this okay so now we try to create a create one one shape just you now without using any of void how can we uh, do that so I'm going to just maybe just rotate this one and then do a screenshot so I uh, just explain in this a little bit you know more so I do, do a screenshot so eventually the shape will be something like this right so oh no uh, maybe rotate this a little bit more doing maybe this angle okay so do another screenshot okay so eventually so it'll be something like this come and then go straight down and then go up and do this go up and do this right <laughs> um, okay so instead of you know we do all this shape so imagine we have a little long here we have a little long here instead of you know doing all this this way we're going to um, hang on, let me just do it again we are going to yeah it's a little bit hard to explain this one so maybe I'll just uh, do another one we're going to use start from this point this as one profile right and then we have another point here so because we eventually we will we wanted to create this so we're going to have a point here and then uh, connect this, this one with a point here so connect this okay and then we have another point here connect it with this point okay and then we have another point um, uh, let me think we need a point here right so and then for this one we are going to offset from here so eventually we'll create this shape so we'll have a point here connect with this and the final one will be the point from here so same as this one so from here with the offset down to here so 
Okay, so we need to have some points. So for example, this one offset from here, this one offset from here, and this one offset from here, and uh, this one offset from here. And also for these, it not only uh, it cannot. Um, I mean, it, it can can rotate as well. So imagine you rotate. Uh, sorry, you offset from from this point, right? So and then you off. We we will rotate this one by like a 45 degree. So not only it's like an offset from here, it also rotates up. So it's more like a, a, this one's about more about here, right? And then connect this. Okay, so yeah. So let's do this. So now we are going to add some points. So place points, draw on face, uh, midpoint, midpoint, midpoint and midpoint and then we're going to use draw on word plan and set word plan so pick the vertical word plan on the point and place it a point and do the same so set word plan tab and place it set word plan and place it set word plan oh sorry wrong one set word plan again tab tab and place it Okay, so now select the point we just created, and then so we're going to use a positive offset, right? So I'll just type in 200 for now, and then we probably I'll, I'll see if I can just I'm not sure about these two mirror, don't no, yeah, doesn't work. So maybe just 180 degree, so it will go this way, right? So and then uh, we want this one to come down a little bit, so like. Uh, Add like 30 degree maybe so and okay so th this one 200 and then let's just top in 30 degree maybe oh negative negative 30 degree and same I'm gonna select this point 200 and uh, uh, and select this point let's try 30 degree select this one okay so 200 and I think this one needs to be, I'm not sure, negative 30 maybe, uh, 30 degree. Okay, and also we can create parameter for this offset. So in case we want to, uh, we already have an offset, so let's just use this one. Um, yeah, I think that's, this is it. So now we can start, we can connect all the lines we need. So we need one, this one, right? And the second one will be, uh, from here to here, okay. From here to here, so we we need a point here. So we're going to use draw face on the midpoint, and also we will need another point here. So let's just place it. So select this point and this point. So we connect. So in this case, we can just do a straight line. Should be fine. It, it won't be a lot difference. So if you want to, you can always you know make a curve. Uh, somehow you can place a point offset and then make a curve but for this one I think a straight line should will work okay so we need another one from this point to this one so oh hell yeah that's that's the one uh, another uh, spline so point make it reference line and another point here to to this one okay oh is that right uh, oh, hang on, this one's wrong. This needs to be this. So let's just dissolve it and select this one, this one, create. Okay, so the reason why we do this one is because we want a curved edge here. So, so you can see if, I, if we use this one, it will create a shape like this. Okay, so all good. And then this one with this one. So Spline through points and, and also make it reference lines. The last one will be one, two, and three. Uh, yeah, what's ah? We don't need this anymore. So let's just maybe just delete. So you can see when you delete a line, it also delete the point. Okay. So this is why sometimes we want if we want to keep the point, we use dissolve instead of just delete. And also just let's clean up a little bit here looks ah uh, yeah so so you see uh because there uh, 
there are two extra points actually we create this one to you know with the, uh, using the long, wrong point so we're going to use dissolve because we want to keep all the points there and then we let's just clean up just delete this point clean delete this one so now we can select one two three and create a sprung through point make a reference line so now we have all the all the lines we need so you can see one okay control select two three four and five create a form okay so you can see it's still not it's not 100 percent perfect so you can see oh it's a little bit extra here so if you want to you can probably just do a void but i i don't think because um yeah i don't think it will you know affect a lot because um yeah you probably won't say see here so when once it's overlapped and then so it's um yeah i, I won't yeah i'm not worried about that uh i think this is good okay so yeah so this is it you can see we don't need any void we just create create a uh, place some uh reference lines or some profiles and then create this shape so uh now let's have a try so if we oh uh maybe i'll just create a new new uh conceptual mass so we can place this one so i just use maybe pick a vertical pick this work vertical reference plan i'll just draw some draw a shape uh, something like this okay so and then create a form i pick the one the surface and the use the body of surface so we might need to rotate the angle but uh, uh, i'll just lo lo load this one first load this one okay and then place this family so again it's very fast because there's no void at all so it's just solid and also uh, it's less likely to break when you when we change change this so last time so you know that uh, when we try to change the size change the depth uh, it tend to you know break quite easily but for this one because there's no void there's, there's only one surface so uh, let's just use uh, it's less likely to break so uh, so which is good and also very fast uh, relative to the last one so you can see it's very fast and uh, to change and also we might uh, we, we i think we need to rotate this one 45 degree uh no we need to add uh 90 degrees or 135 yeah i think that's it so let's rotate this one so you can see uh from the elevation so it looks perfect right and also because uh, we have a, a a parameter so uh, where is it oh it's an instance parameter that, that's fine so we can change this one as well if we want to you know adjust the shape right so if you want to change them all you know to match you can if even it's an instance you can still use sa select all so to change all of them uh, but if you want to you know you can also change this one to a type parameter so you, every time you change you just do it here so okay so and also let's try and see if we can just reduce the depth so see it's less likely to break okay so and um a meter right so the only thing um, that it's not uh per i mean so you can see it's not really actually it's okay um yeah if you have the other one you know side by side you probably can tell a little bit difference but uh, i think this one's good enough for for some for con uh, conceptual mass right so yeah and and let's just change this size so we'll say it only take one second to change right Ooh. oh sorry <laughs> 300 uh, see it's still great it's not it's not broken that's good yeah so um this is it uh so let's maybe i'll just change 
select all SA, change this one because we have a size bigger size, and we might need we just need to adjust the offset a little bit. So make it you know, yeah, make it better. <laughs> okay, so this is it. Um, I I will upload this family so you can have a play. Um, if you have any questions please let me know. Okay, so thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye. I'll just quickly change the graphic. Okay, that's all. Thanks.